Checking the trailer control valve. Important. Before testing, ensure the vehicle is properly secured with chocks to prevent it from rolling. Attach the extraction hose. Before the test, ensure that the compressed air system is sufficiently full. To do this, start the engine. The following values must be correct before the test. Shut-off pressure of pressure regulator, APROX, 12 bars. Shut-off pressure of brake circuits, APROX, 10 bars. Shut-off pressure of ancillary circuits, APROX, 8.5 bars. The pressure must not drop below the operating pressure of the brake circuits during the test. Start the test. Connect the test pressure gauge to the brake coupling head. Check the scalability of the trailer control valve. Operate the service brake. The needle must rise steadily and the scalability must be less than 0.4 bars. The same applies for the parking brake. Check the EU test position of the handbrake. Push the lever over the detent to the EU test position. The brake pressure must drop to zero bars. When the detent is released, the pressure returns to the original value. Check the breakaway safeguard. Connect the test pressure gauge to the red coupling head. Connect an open coupling head adapter to the yellow coupling head. When the brake pedal is fully depressed, the pressure at the red coupling head should drop below 1.5 bars within two seconds. Some air is blown from the open coupling head Check proper pressure modulation on deceleration command. In star diagnosis, find the relevant WIS document. This lists the test specifications for the modulated pressure at the trailer control valve and brake coupling head. Before the pressure test to WIS specifications, attach the test pressure gauge to the yellow coupling head. When the display shows a deceleration of 10%, the pressure gauge should indicate a modulated pressure of 1.5 bars, plus or minus 0.2 bars. Check all values against the WIS document. This completes all the tests on the trailer control valve.